Hello my friends and business partners from around the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Rafael, I'm an electrical engineer, book writer, business English coach, professional translator and bilingual teacher of mathematics and physics here in Brazil. And on this video I'm going to talk to you guys about the System Average Interruption Duration Index. SEIRI, as it was defined by the IEEE standard 1366 of 2012, Electric Power Distribution Reliability Indices, and to do this I brought to you this exercise. But before going to the exercise, let's review what SEIRI is. SEIRI is the System Average Interruption Duration Index and it measures the total duration of interruptions for the average customer during a period of time. This period of time can be a day, a week, a month or a year. And, okay, so how do we calculate the SEIRI? We calculate this index using this expression provided by IEEE. This expression says that we need to compute the customer minutes of interruption and divide by the number of customers of that area of concession, of that utility. Okay. What is customer minutes of interruption? Customer minutes of interruption is the product between the number of customers interrupted by that outage and the duration of the interruption. For example, let, let's, begin, let's begin with the exercise. I'm going to raise it here and I'm going to talk to you guys about what is this. Okay, customer minutes of interruption for the day, April 29th, okay, and what, can you see, can you see the table, the same, the table says that uh, on April 29th at 3.23 a.m., 456,000 customers were interrupted for 20 minutes. This is the data of the utility. The utility provided this data. And the customer minutes, this number here, customer minutes, for this specific event is the product between this number here and this number here. Okay, so the strategy here, what we are going to do to calculate the safety for these events here will be to multiply this number with this number, this number with this number, this number and this number, this number and this number. After doing that, we are going to sum the numbers. We are going to, because this is the summation, we are going to sum the number that results from this multiplication with the number that results with this multiplication, we are going to sum the number that results from this multiplication and the number that results from this multiplication and divide it all by the total number of the customers, which is 500,000. All right, my friends, are you understanding? Then our city is going to be 456,000 times 20 minutes. 100,000 customers times 600 minutes plus 10,000 customers times 300 minutes plus 660,000 uh, customers times 120 minutes. After doing that and dividing by 500,000, we get the city. Okay, so I already did that. I already did that, okay? I don't want to lose the time with my calculator. I already did that, and I found this number here. 79,320,000 customer, customer minutes. 
divided by 500,000. Okay? 500,000 is the total number of customers for that specific area of concession or distribution utility. And after doing this math, we find that our city will be 158.64 minutes or 2.64 hours. Okay, so let's return to the question. What is the city for the 29th and the 30th of April? The power utility will gather this data and give it to its engineers. The engineers will work on that and they will do just that and calculate that the city is 158.64 minutes or 2.64 hours, okay? In some regulated markets, the regulators require this data from power utilities, from distribution utilities, okay? To measure the quality of service. All right, my friends, this was the video that I wanted to make. I hope you guys learned something from it and enjoyed it. If you want to talk with me, I'm going to leave my number in the description of the video. Okay? Goodbye!